In this video, I want to show you how to download an adjustment layer and what adjustment layers actually really are. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to Chrome or Safari or wherever your browser of choice is. And you want to go ahead and head over to this guy's website. It's just a Sellify website. And you want to type in adjustment layer for Final Cut Pro 10. And there you go. That's just, this is what you need to make this and to be able to download adjustment layers actually be able to use it what you want to go ahead and do is just click buy now it'll ask for your email your download link if you want a complete guide on how to download plugins i made a video about that i think a couple months ago i'll link it up and um i'll link it up in the video so you can go ahead and check it out but what you want to do is you want to download this um a plugin just just an adjustment layer for final cut pro and go to this guy's website um, again, if you want, if you want to know how to completely uh, download plugins, I already made a video about that. Uh, again, you also want to go to Finder. Go ahead, head over to this just section over here. Go ahead, click on Home. Over in Movies, you want to go ahead in your Motions template. You want to make sure that you drag the file, the adjustment layer file, into the Titles page, as you can see right here, into the Titles folder. Here is the adjustment layer. So it's pre that's pretty much how you download the plugin. So that's the first step. You have to actually download uh, the plugin. Then you want to go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. As you can see, I already loaded up a couple of different clips to basically show you this effect. What you want to go ahead and do is head over to here. Because I put it in the Titles folder, it's going to be over here in the Titles section. Once you're in the Titles section, you want to go ahead and as you can see right here, here are all your different titles. You want to head over to here, the Adjustment Layer title now as you can see there are a whole bunch of different adjustment layers there's a long medium and there's a short adjustment uh, short adjustment layer so it just depends on what you're trying to achieve so because it's a pretty long clip I'll just go ahead and take a long one now you can just drag it you can do other things too but I was literally gonna drag it and then I'll just go ahead and extend it let's say I want a color or an effect or something to affect all of all three of these clips so you want to drag the adjustment layers uh, drag the adjustment layer down and then drag it out so it fits as you can see at the beginning and the end you want to make sure the adjustment layer fills up uh, um, covers up all three of those clips now let's go ahead and head over to the media section and here's you can do a whole bunch of cool effects and this is why the adjustment layer is a really cool effect and it's a must have if you're a filmmaker so let's go ahead and say um, let's just say I want to, for some weird reason, I want to blur all three of these clips. Uh, this is the blur effect that I usually use. Ta you want to take the effect, drag it on to the adjustment layer. You want to drag it on to the adjustment layer right here. And as you can see right here, look at that, there you go. Every single clip is blurred out. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure that, and then, there you go. I just blurred out all three of those clips. Now remember Command Z, and we just undid uh, that, adding that effect. So there you go. That's how you go about doing it. Let's say I want a comic book look effect. Let's say I'll do um, this comic book. Go ahead and drag the effect onto the adjustment layer. That's the important part. And as you can see, there you go. The, the effect has been has been added to all three of the clips. So the important thing is you want to add it on the adjustment layer. If you don't if you don't do that, it's not going to work. Now let's go ahead and this is this is where adjustment layers help in color grading. So here's some of my different presets. This is my G7 preset. Let's just say I want to put that preset on all three of the clips. Take the color effect, boom, and drag it on. There you go. It has affected all three of the all three of the different clips. Command Z to undo. And then here's the most important thing. If there's a preset, you're going to put effects on it. You could put color presets. But here's the fun thing. You can also go over to color. And depending on what you're trying to do, let's just say I want to put a color wheel on. Go ahead, put a color wheel on. As you can see, not much has changed. However, if we go ahead and click on the adjustment layer and we go over to the effects, bring down the color layer. Bring up the color wheel, and there you go. Just double double click on the color wheel. Now we're on the color wheel. What you want to do is you want, as you can see, look. I want to bring up the masters. Look, there you go. It has been completely every single one has been 
overexposed. Obviously, that looks horrific, but that's what you do. That's just what you want to do. You want to go to the color preset, drag on the color wheel, the color board, whatever you want to do. Let's and then let's just say, okay, for example, I want to for some reason. Let's just turn the temperature really warm. As you can see, there you go. It has affected all of the clips because we put the color wheel onto the adjustment layer. Let's say, for example, I want to do the color board. Let's put the color board onto the adjustment layer. Do not put it on uh, the cl one clip or else you can't affect all the other clips. So let's go ahead and head over. So I'm on the color board right now. Let's go ahead and just drag it up or drag it down. There we go. Those are just a whole bunch of different things that you can do mainly the, you can at the color board a whole bunch of this stuff but do the color wheel is without doubt the best as you can see bring down the shadows and it is affecting all of the different clips so that's what an adjustment layer is you would download the plugin off of that Sellify website put uh put the adjustment layer in the titles folder and then just put the adjustment layer over the clips you want affected and then just take an effect a color preset a color wheel or a whole bunch of these different effects drag it onto the adjustment layer if you don't drag onto the adjustment layer this just does not work so there you go that's how you add an adjustment layer and that's what an adjustment layer actually does and that is why you want to download an adjustment layer because you can affect for example let's say i have like a sort of movie and you're and there's like a hundred clips of a raining scene if you literally went individually and, and color graded all 100 of those clips, that would legitimately take, I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even want to know, like four or five hours. But with adjustment layer, you can color grade all of the clips in one fail swoop. And you can go through at each individual clip, make sure there's no massive problems. But that's how you add an adjustment layer. And those, that is what an adjustment layer actually does. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. Subscribe to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. See you guys in the next one. Peace.